Stop the rain, huh? Come here, I am masked up, ready to shoot some. There she. 4 CR Whitman. And I am um, all sealed up. Ready to rock and roll, so I'll give you the gander. Come here, I'll give you the I'll come here, I'll give you the right good gander. I just have it all masked up now and they just this here so the under seal doesn't come into the care. We got the back of it is all sealed up and masked up. So today we'll get some brushable we'll get some brushable seam sealer all up in there and we will get some underbody seal on it and we will take it from there. There we go. I'm not even recording. Yeah, so she's all seam sealed up. Oh, trying to get into the corner. Won't be the good. So let's get this all epoxy ball. Where's the gun? Ah, oh, yes. Let's go. Hey lads, welcome back. I have started to sand down the epoxy primer very lightly just to apply the, the filler work to it. Um, not too bad, not too bad at all. Um, yeah, so I just shaded it with a bit of black uh, rally spray. Um, I'm sanding it down, down to 180 grit sandpaper and then what I'm going to do is I'll put filler on the necessary places and I'll sand it down to 80, 180 two pack primer. Uh, fill a two pack filler primer on the whole entire pair uh, after it's epoxy primer and then we'll sand it. Uh, we're talking miles ahead here lads. Let's get into sanding down this a little bit so we can put on some filler. The idea behind the rally spray or the black shade is just to highlight the areas, apart from them areas there. Uh, on a high steel, um, just to highlight high low areas on the whole entire job. So hopefully it shows up one or two spots, and then um, we get some better into it and we get it all right.
So we have it all kind of sort of sanded down where the filler work is needed. It needs some here. Need some along there where I had the bits welded in. I welded in this section here. It was off camera. I welded that in. All this piece here. All up there. All on the inside of the bootlet as well. That was all put in there. All this section here. Up to there. My whole section was put into it as well. Um, yeah, so there's that bit of filler work up there. Just a little bit here, a little bit on the arch. The arch is great, lads. It looks like it's just absolutely glass. Like, um, it looks major, but it's actually very minimal there. It's actually really highlighted by the highs and lows there, but it's actually pretty decent. Um, that there it needs a bit here from the bit that I welded in. Then there was some uh, uncovered low and high spots from previous damage, which was here and a bit here as well. But then there's the bit there from me. Yeah, so as I was saying, there's this bit here that I had welded in previously. Then there's the bit of damage here on the bottom of the door from previous fixing. And then up here there was a bit as well. And then there's this bit here that I have to just fill it from the piece that I welded in. So, some metallic putty put on this now, lads. Alright, lads, now, so I'm going to just glove up a little. And, um, pop this can of, um, metallic putty open. And... We'll use this just for the really bad bits that need work. And as you can see, that is like metal. That is unreal. Metal putty is right. It's the first time I've ever used this, so I'm going to use a little bit of it and see how it goes. And then uh, we'll mix up more and more and see how see where it goes on like For all you Americans out there that can't mix filler these are talkies did you ever see the boys mixing filler? Yeah, yeah, I have before. Oh, it's terrible. It's like, what the fuck is that shit like? You own the bastard, like. Let them know that the fucking, you're, you're in charge of this fucking fellow up, and that's the end of it. Slap that shit around it. Too many lads are afraid of the fellow. Christmas. Just <laughs> open this one here, get a little bit off of it. So I'm just then um, undoing all of the bolts for the outer window protector. It's like a window with a little steel trim. Um, I'm gonna take this off. And as you can see, we've already got the inner plastic off. And if you can see here, that is not meant to be there. <laughs> that is actually for the seatbelt. And um, yeah, that's not good. So we got it. Uh, do the same pretty much as we did over here and just cut it all out. So I'm going to take off this outer window trim, I want to take off all of the stuff here and I'm going to drop the shock out of it, drop the wheel off, I drop everything out of it there now so we get a better look at this quarter panel and the inner arch. So um, I'm just going to keep cracking on here lads. Um, yeah, some like this when you see a seatbelt ripping out of it. You've got some faith in your huh? so badly. I can't even reach through there. There we go. There we go. 
the last one off now you're just gonna pull off okay. right, we'll just pull off the little black plastic on the outside now hopefully right. oh. that's the way what way did they come off again it was over here there's a screw wasn't it Where's me bolts? There it is. Too lovely. Huh. I have to make sure the bolts on, but that's that. Right. off this wheel. We're we'll gonna take off that hub, we're we'll gonna take all off that so we can get get the access to drop the fuel filler neck and get the shock top cut off and um yeah let's just get this off and take it from there. So what holds it on now again? Oh, yes it was the big 19 wasn't it? Off the caliper. Enough. I suppose you could just leave it like that and let the shock just fall through. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I'm gonna just take off this bottom. There's a big long bolt that goes straight through. just holding the shocking at the back of the hub so that's that off that's that one off shock should just fall down there in a second when I loosen them three bolts at the top and just have to take off the anti-roll bar yeah I could drop the anti-roll bar from the car because I need to take it down anyway so I should just do that I'm just going to loosen off the anti-roll bar and drop the anti-roll bar with this hub. That way, I'm not disturbing the bushing on this side because it's kind of sort of it looks a bit fragile or fragile, as they say in Italy, isn't it? Something like that. Isn't it? I 
had to do it. No hands if you had the camera to be doing as well. We've got a great assistant right now though. It's making a fool of me this one. Says you I make a fool of myself all the time. And she's out on the ground. Success. Success is her only motherfucking auction. No, that's that off that. Should just fucking pop out, mate. No. There we go, that's that. So that's about to fall off. Right now, I just want to take off this other clip. Or this other bolt. Sweat is actually dripping down my forehead. Look at that. Is the sweat dripping down my forehead? Yeah. It is, yeah. Fuck me. <laughs> That's just for messing about here. Like. the spring, I was like, what? Passenger's wing all ground down, ready for epoxy primer. So, just mixing up the 4CR epoxy primer. 